You have been asking about an accessories video and I am happy to oblige. Hi, welcome to this week's tutorial. It's really a list of my top five favorite accessory ideas for 2020. There are many. I've had um, a lot of you ask me questions based on some things that I've worn in recent posts. And I figure a lot of it was accessory based. So I thought this might be a ripe opportunity to compile a list of what I feel are very wearable designs, things that you can either make, things that you might actually have in your own closet, or if you do have to make a purchase, it is affordable. And as always, I will list everything for you in the description portion of the video. Just click show more, it expands, or the little down arrow to the right of your phone or tablet to be able to see. And I'm going to incorporate some photos as well that are on trend with the season. But the first one that I want to start with is layering gold necklaces. I find this to be, number one, so easy because odds are you probably have a variety of gold necklaces in different lengths that if you were just to spend some time in your jewelry closet and just start mixing and matching and layering because it's really all about length and from shortest to longest. So in my opinion, that's the best place to start. It doesn't have to be all matchy-matchy. It doesn't have to be, let's say, a shiny type of a gold. It could be a matte gold. It could be matte and shiny. You could incorporate a different type of a tone or a texture or even do a combination of gold and silver. But this I find to be a very youthful look. I love it for summer, especially with a nice kind of white tee or a button down shirt. The idea here is if you're going to layer, you really need to have a canvas for the jewelry to lay against, which is nothing to compete. So your skin is everything. Deep rounded necks or V-necks are ideal for this. And if you feel comfortable buttoning just a little bit lower, maybe unbuttoning that one button by the bra and using a safety pin below just to get some length in the chest area. First of all, it's incredibly elongating, but it also gives you more room to be able to play with this gold layered look. So that's what I've got going on here with a scooped out white t-shirt. If you invest in anything, get yourself a little bar piece, kind of a mid-range, uh, really, really popular right now. I love my heart. I wear my I wear my heart on my sleeve and in this case on my neck. I love my heart by Melinda Maria Jewelry and then the longer piece here by Madison McKinley Designs um, and Goriana for everything else. Those three are sort of my top two top three, <laughs> hello math, when it comes to layering jewelry. Um, same thing applies also for rings. You can take things and do big cuffs. You can stack little pieces. You can mix larger size with smaller size. It's up to you. But the gold looks so beautiful if you have a little bit of color in your skin too. So I really want you to have fun with this. Ideally, see what you've got, see what you can make work. And if you have to invest in a couple of pieces, well, I'll provide links for you to some of my favorites to possibly help you out with that. The next thing that's super huge and on trend, literally huge, and that would be the big bag. Now, mind you, when you look at runway trends and style, things always tend to be grossly over-exaggerated on the runway. So I've pulled a couple of photos for you to see here. These bags are massive. You could fit a small child in one of these bags. Okay, I'm not encouraging you to go that far, but get yourself a big bag. My husband bought this for me years ago to use when we travel in the summertime to a beach resort or destination. And it's perfect because I use this as my bag for the airplane. So literally it's a, it's a ginormous gaping hole and there's nothing in there. Big gaping hole. And you can put, you can put your whole life in something like this. And then it's great when you're on vacation, you just kind of throw it around. It's casual. Don't get anything crazy expensive. You just just want a good versatile utility big big bag so that will kind of accompany this look and in the end I'll pull this all together so you see how it works and the key is is to get some pieces that are not so trendy that you'll only wear them one season but you may actually carry them over and over and over just so happens that this is in so Nick way to go you're a prognosticator next thing that is super on trend this season that I think is just adorable and that is a square toed sandal 
I love these. And as you can see, I got mine at Zara. So I clearly did not break the bank in making that purchase. But square toed sandals and shoes are just amazingly stinkingly cute for 2020. What's so fun about them is for the most part, the heel isn't all that high. I've seen a range from an inch to maybe two, two and a half. That's about it. So it's a practical shoe for walking around. It's also incredibly versatile. I have seen these paired with, you know, how long shorts are really big this summer with blazers. I've seen this with longer shorts and blazers. I have seen this with denim and I have seen it with skirts and dresses. So this is the kind of shoe that even though it's a trendy shoe and a trendy look, it actually can be worn with a lot in your closet. And so that's what I always aim for. If I'm going to shop a trend, I don't want it to just work for one thing or one way to wear. It needs to have versatility or I'm not going to spend the money. Even Zara money, I'm not going to do it. This is really, really big for 2020 and they're incredibly comfortable and they can be worn with something like these. So I'm going to talk a little bit about denim and who would have thought jeans would be an accessory, but they are based on the adornment that's going on. And so let's say you're not a ripped jeans kind of gal, and I'm talking with the holes and the thighs and the knees and all of that. You know, that's for your 20 year old daughter, but you just don't feel so comfortable doing that. This is a way to be current and have your rip in a very conservative area. And so the fraying is taking place at the end of jeans now. A popular style is, uh, these are by Reformation, and it's a, it's a fitted flare, flares out above the ankle, and I love that because it really plays off on the shoe because you're not covering the shoe. So when you have such a really cute shoe, like the square toed shoe, you can actually see it underneath your jeans because they're not covering it. You can purchase these. I mean, these types of jeans are everywhere. Many of them are done on a skinny jean with the flare um, and the shredding at the end. Many of them go at an angle. You could even do this to a pair of your own jeans. Let's say you have an old pair of jeans, maybe some old fit and flare at the end. Take them, cut them, cut across and wash them, see how they look. You can also take them and you can not only go across, but you can cut in and you can create sort of a, a fringe look with the scissors and then wash it and allow that to fray too. But I mean, in the end, you were going to toss those jeans anyway. You're not wearing them. You may as well play around and do a little DIY fringe and see how it works. And then everybody will say, where'd you get those jeans? And you're like, yeah, they've been in my closet for 10 years and uh, I just cut them myself. So there you go. Then last but not least on my favorite accessory list, to me, sunglasses are such a defining part of a look. And if you've noticed glasses this season, they are massive. They sort of bring me back to the 1970s a little bit. And the trend is geometric. So let's talk about different geometric ideas for glasses. I've worn these before in a lot of Instagram posts. Uh, these are my Matsudas and they're round. Round glasses are really neat. If you have very sharp and angular features, a round lens can really soften that. And then of course, the gold detail in these plays off of the gold detail in the jewelry. So it all starts to tie together when you put the eyewear on. So a round shape is really in. Hexagon, different types of angles will actually make a rounder face more angular looking. So that's something that you can look for. But again, all different kinds. Square glasses, huge. Square glasses are so big. And plastic glasses are super big too. I found these things actually at uh, the Houston Museum of Fine Arts. My mom was doing some volunteer work there and they've got a store in the museum where they sell things. And they were selling these glasses among other things, jewelry, scarves, books, and, and whatnot. These were something like $12. I mean, it was ridiculous, but they're super cute and on trend. And you know, how wonderful if you're, if you're wanting to stay in a trend when you can spend 12. I, I like to save money. That's just how I roll. So anyway, round out your look with a pair of nice, big geometric glasses. And this way you can pull together all of these wonderful accessory trends of 2020. And chances are you can do it with what you have. Or if you're going out to shop, you're at least not spending a lot of money. You know, I think that we are all very much in a 
paring down minimalistic type mode right now. For instance, as we sit in my closet and I've been selling on Poshmark, as you know, I did a video on how to do that. And if you haven't seen it, go check it out because you might be able to get some cash out of your closet. For every piece that I buy, I get rid of two. So that's my goal and modality for bringing things in and cutting waste and getting real with what I want and making sure I really want it and I really am going to wear it because if I'm buying it, I'm getting rid of two things that already exist. So that's a great way to help incorporate trend and not collect so much stuff that you're sitting in a sea of clothes and accessories and it's a bunch of waste. So maybe it's a good idea to start looking for ways to pare it down, looking for ways to either give away, donate, or sell some of your things, and then seeing areas where it's wise to bring in something new. So with your accessories, go out, be bold, and be blessed. And I look forward to seeing you next Thursday at one o'clock. Bye.